so I'm going to do something a little bit different since you guys have already seen, like in my last video, um, I guess the mask has come off, right? So, um, so today I'm going to do, I guess what you, I was thinking about what to call this and I'm like, I guess we'll call it a get ready with me. So, um, because I was like, oh, I guess this is a disabled person's version of a get ready with me video. So. <laughs> so, um, so I'm basically going to get ready as in, I'm going to wash my hair for you guys. This is how a disabled person washes their hair. At least I do. So, um, and then I guess I'll chat and just talk about whatever. Um, oh God, I'm still in a lot of pain. So I'm going to try and get through this quickly. So first of all, um, where do I begin? So first of all, before I get going, I want to say the reason that I move around so much is because of the pain. Like when I keep moving like this, I noticed in my previous videos when I was editing them, like I get up like this all the time. That's the pain. Like that's, I'm adjusting all the time because the pain hurts so much. Like I can't sit still. Like um, when you have um, as many spine injuries as I do, like every section of my spine has it. Wow, I'm in a lot of pain today. As you saw, um, Okay, so you know what? I better get going because I'm going to, if I keep going in this amount of pain, um, I'm going to have a seizure. So, um, oh my gosh, I almost revealed myself on television or t you know what I mean. So anyway, this is how I get ready. So isn't it pretty? It looks so pretty. I didn't do any of that on purpose. So that's all like signs of my previous life. So all that stuff I had a long time ago. So that's our closet. Anyway, just because when you have disabled, you have a lot of equipment, and so things get displaced, and you have to keep stuff wherever. So I love that bag, though. I love that bag. I got that bag. It's a beautiful bag. I got that bag at that um, last chance I was telling you about, or last first, the one in Phoenix or whatever. Oh, God, I love it. Anyway, um, and I haven't had a chance to use it um, ever. So, all right, so here... So I hang it there. That is something, that is a tip for you guys who are disabled. Um, if there's things that you love and you don't get to use anymore, like why is that bag hanging out there? Or like why is that shirt hanging out there if I don't get to use it anymore? Um, it is important to put things that you love or things that inspire you. Like it's important to put that stuff around the house. Like, because I love that bag. So I make sure to put it out so that I at least see it and it makes me feel good. Like, so that if I'm like down or whatever, I feel good. So, um, it, it makes me feel, it makes me happy. Like I, I love it. So if I don't get to use it, at least I get to see it all the time. Does that make sense? Like I decorate the house with the things I, I ended up using my accessories to decorate the house. And it's a really good tip because you can't, shop anymore or anything so when we got the the new house like we couldn't shop for the house so I used like my accessories to decorate it from my past life if that makes sense so anyway um let's see here so this is <laughs> this is such a different get ready with me <laughs> so um oh here let's do some normal get ready with me so what's on my face what I normally use to tape is I just use this, like I just use the Dream Wonder Foundation by, what is it, Maybelline? I freaking love this stuff, like, and I I love it. Um, and then I am wearing a really old erase paste that I got on like the opening day of our um, Ulta. I normally don't wear this though, um, but it's like, it's like from, also from 2014 and then, um, but this is the one I usually wear on camera is just the BH and I love it. This is, this is amazing. So just the B Studio Pro, it's like $4 and it's amazing. So you guys saw how bad my dark circles are. Like that's what made me start wearing makeup is when I got sick. I used to never have to wear makeup, like never. I never wore makeup, like never wore makeup before. And then I got sick and I made my husband promise to tell me that like if I got sick, um, not if I got sick. I made my husband, I had to work my husband over because he's such a good guy and he's always so nice and polite. 
And I had to like work him and be like, if I have something in my teeth, tell me. Like, don't be a good guy. Don't be a nice guy. Like, you got to tell me. Um, like, that's not really loving me. Loving me is telling me, like, I need you. If you're on my side, you've got to tell me. I will feel loved. I will not feel upset if I'm gaining weight or something like that. You've got to tell me, right? Like, I, I, no one else is going to tell me. Like, that's not being my loved one. Like, I need you to tell me the truth. So when I got sick, like, the dark circle started happening. And he was like, you've got you've got, and I didn't know, I mean, I had no idea. And he was like, honey, like there is this thing happening underneath and it's, it's starting to look really scary. And, and so we started looking and it actually took forever. It actually took forever. And, um, you'd be amazed. You go to these makeup counters and they don't know what the hell. And like for a while, like the Mac one worked like the little pump thing. And then they changed the formula and it's crap now. It doesn't work. And then, um, like the bye bye under eye by that that did work, but then you can find it ever, and then it dries out like super quickly. It can easily dry out, and um, and also it's kind of hard to work, and just this whole thing. And then I ended up finding out, and I was like, this is kind of ridiculous. But anyway, the trick I've learned is that if you if you use like their race pace, they gave it to me too dark in the beginning, but now I'm kind of tan. Just for you know what, I'm getting off subject, so. Here we go. So that's just what I'm wearing underneath my eyes. And I'm really glad for BH Cosmetics. Also the NYX, like, um, the NYX has this great under eye one, this knockout, this under eye concealer. And that one I lived with for years. Like when I found that, I was like way better than a race pace. I could put that under, on my, under my eyes and no other makeup and it would just blend in and I was set. So I highly recommend that. For those of us who are disabled who have medical bills, like that's what I ended up relying on. So, um, the, this one, you can't do that with this. You've got to do this when you're wearing other makeup. So for sure. So it's not something that'll just blend in. But the NYX under eye is the great, is just miraculous. And then, yeah, um, I am wearing this on my lips and on my eyes. This is amazing. Um, you know what? I'm just going to do another video on all these. Maybe I'll leave them linked all below. Let's get to what this video is really about. This guy. So this is the No Rinse. Shampoo, disabled people, if you are having trouble taking, like, I can't take showers. Like, um, I haven't for years. We're talking years now. And when you are not able to get into the shower every day, that's a hint. That's when you need to get a nurse. That's when you need to get an in-home nurse. And, like, the moment you can't, actually, the moment that you can't do your laundry anymore, when the moment it's painful to do your laundry or do your dishes, you need an in-home nurse. You need a cleaning lady and you need an in-home nurse. And if you can't afford a cleaning lady, get a nurse. And it's just worth it because they can even come in for just a few hours a week, which is all we can afford. But it makes the biggest difference to have, like, you think we can keep the house like this, this couch looking nice? No. Like, no. No. So, anyway, no. We need a nurse for that. So, anyway. Um, but it just affects you mentally. Like, if because when you are sick, like, the house piles up and then that makes you mentally sick and it can just freaking with your mindset and you can't you can't live like that you can't and you need and nurses can help you and what really helps is that like peggy my nurse she like gives recommendations on things like this like this i found through amazon but she gave me the stuff that once I started buying it on Amazon, then that led me, it suggested thing and suggested more. And now it found, led me to this stuff. And this stuff is, um, it's no rinse shampoo, ready to use, just apply, massage, and towel dry. And it has changed my life. It has changed my life. It has changed my life because I don't have to wait for a nurse to come and do my hair, you know, like once a week, which is disgusting, but it's the reality of the situation. So, um, and so this is what I do. This is my get ready to be. This is how I get to shower. And I don't get to do this all the time, but like I am feeling healthy enough to do it. So I'm really excited. So, and yeah, it's really humiliating, but I know it is necessary. So here we go. So basically you just take it, you have a little spout and you just, I put a towel around me. And it's best if you're sitting on a couch, like I have to wait till I'm able to sit upright and on a couch, you can lean back and do it. And actually that's best for your back if you have bad back or disabled or whatever, because it can wear you out. Like your arms will get 
tired. Like you're going to be lifting up your arms. And for a long time, I couldn't lift up my arms. So I like my husband had to do it and everything like that. Like luckily I've gathered my strength with the weight loss da, 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 so that I can lift my own arms and do this myself. So basically you just start and you pour along the hairline here and tilt your head back and just pour it along the hairline. Kind of like you used to do when you were able to be in a shower and just tilt your head back and just keep pouring it along the hairline here and just squeeze the bottle. And that's why you need your towel back here because it'll run through and you want your towel to catch it. Like you want your towel to catch whatever runs off. And so you just keep squeezing the bottle. And the thing is, is that if you're not able to do this every day, like I'm not able to do it every day, not by a long shot. And so your hair can get really, really gross really fast. And so it, sometimes it can take a lot like a lot of the stuff, but, um, I have found that it just, it's incredible. Like it, it, it really doesn't take that much. So just soak, like no matter how dirty my hair is, I am always shocked at how little it takes. All you have to do is soak it all the way through. So what I do is I start the hairline and I go back and then I just slowly go further and further back. Like I just keep going and I wet it until it's fully soaked through. And then now that it's fully soaked through, I just set it down. And as you can see, like, then I just start now because of my illness, I have really thin hair. So don't be, don't be shocked or anything. But, um, so, and then you can see, like, it just gets all lathered up, right? And then you just lather it up just like you would in a shower. And then you can find out real quick as you're lathering it up you can figure out really quickly like if you don't have enough product in it like I've been doing it for a while so I've kind of figured out how much like depending on how dirty because sometimes um see like right now I can tell already like it's getting kind of dry right in here and I'm like okay like it's it's gonna need some more right there and so I just like, like okay because basically what it's doing is it's dissolving the dirt and the oil which is so freaking fantastic and so you just keep rubbing it through. Do you see like how healthy I am? Do you see how I'm able to like lift up my arms and do this? Like this is such a freaking miracle. Like this is so big. So yeah, you just keep massaging this through. And then I can tell I'm going to need a little bit more back here. Now, when I have my nurse here, Peggy, and she has to do this, does she go through and do all this? No, she like... Like, she's like, it's so funny, like, actually, when she gets me into the shower, I have a bench in the shower, like, the, the nursing agency, that's one of the first things they did, that's what's so great about getting a nursing agency in, in, is they were just like, you don't have a bench in the shower, and they were just like, we'll get you one, they know of places, they know of hospitals, they know of extra things, they're like, we know of somebody who doesn't need one anymore, they're actually done with it, so, like, we'll just, and they gave it to us for free, they just donated it to us, they just were like, Here's a support system here. We'll give it to you. And they gave us that bench and it like changed everything so that like when I'm able to sit down in the shower, they can just pour the thing over me and it's great. And like Peggy just wets up my hair and just lathers and rinses. And I'm like, that's all it takes. Like freaking like my mother or whatever, like I'm freaking like OCD or something like that. I'm like, it has to be scrubbed clean. I feel like mommy dearest, like scrub 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 so I'm kind of probably doing it more than I need to do so maybe you don't want to listen to me on how like how much I'm wishing it but do it to your comfort level basically all right so you know and obviously you don't need to do it this much if you're able to do it more often so anyway so there you go scrubbing through and you can pretty much tell like I can tell wow it's really dissolved out like quite a bit did I bring it oh I didn't bring it I didn't bring the best thing of all. I have like the best thing of all. Oh, I'm so excited to show it to you. So I'm going to have to pause here in a second and then I'll show it to you. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> so then all you have to do, here's the brilliant thing about this stuff. Let me see if I can find the manufacturer on this. So this is, it says the choice of healthcare professionals throughout the world used by NASA. Like it's so cute. They make you feel good about using it used by NASA. <laughs> So it's clean life products <clears throat> and I use a lot of their products. I just, they're really inexpensive and from what I found, like I can get two of those bottles for like, I think $12 or 10 bucks or something. I don't remember. 
And I'm sure you can probably get them less expensive somewhere else. Anyway. Remember to lean back so you don't wear out your back. Because remember, sitting up, like, you wear out those back muscles. Anytime you sit up, like, those back muscles are having to support your back while you're putting your arms up. Really try to wear out the least amount of muscles that you can because it can lead to spasms. Like, your body isn't used to doing this much when you're disabled. And so you really want to make sure... Because what you want to do is, when you strengthen those muscles, you want to do that in PT or when you're standing. You don't want to do it in stuff like this, like when you're doing things like this. Like, because you're kind of being really rough on your body right now. So you want to kind of support your body when you're doing something like this. Anyway, so then you just take your towel around. <laughs> Tell me if you've ever seen a get ready with me like this. Oh, yeah, like... This is sexy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I am looking good. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I look like Nicole Guerrero. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I look like Edward Scissorhands instead. Anyway. But heck, if I just put up that last video, then like, it doesn't really matter, does it? Like, the cat's out of the bag now, isn't it? Ugly is as ugly is, and truth is truth, and that's reality, and... And then the truth of the matter is that just, there's a mil- There are millions of us out there living like this, and... And everyone wants to sweep it under the rug. And, and you know the worst part? You know what the worst part is? Is that the absolute worst part, and part of the reason I'm doing that this, is because doctors, if you're young, doctors don't tell you about any of this. If you're young, like they only tell elderly people about this stuff. If you're young, they don't recommend medical equipment to you. They don't recommend nursing to you. They don't recommend walkers to you. They're, they just are like, oh, you're young. And so they don't think you need any of that stuff. They don't recommend medical supply stores. Like, it doesn't matter how much pain you're in, how many medications you're on. They just think all of this stuff, they just think all of this is for the elderly. Like, that's it. They just think this is elderly only. And so they don't recommend it. And it's until you get a nurse into your house that then you start finding out, like, all the stuff that's available to you. And it's not for the elderly only. Like, you have to be a cancer patient to be a young person when they, may, when they actually recommend it to you. Like, someone said, it's just, like, that's it. Like, that's it. That's about the only time, because then you get fully put into a hospital, and they have a whole series of things they give to you. But other than that, like, like you're screwed. You're screwed. All right. I'm going to put on post, because I'm going to give you the absolute best, the absolute best, best of them all. So, oh, I am just looking out. We have the most incredible, like, if you go on my Instagram and you see, go on my Instagram, you guys, because I have... Like, I put out these sunset pics, and I'm, like, looking out at the sun right now. Like, it's just, the sunset is just incredible. I get, I do have an incredible view. That's why I work so hard to try and get down to the couch, because when I do, like, I can open up the curtains and, like, actually see this incredible view. Like, we got really lucky. And someday I'll tell you about that. Like, it was hard choices that got us the view that we had. It wasn't money. We never took from our parents. We did it all on our own. Like, and we, it, it, it was hard af so like and i'll tell you about that someday so let me show you the best product of all hold on a minute because i actually need my walker and my cane to, to move it is not a day where i can just get up so it's gonna be ugly i will be right back oh so okay this is the product that i wanted to talk to you about so this is called well actually it was like a big deal on youtube i found out about it no, I didn't find it out, out about it on YouTube. I found out about it on this amazing blogger who I love. Her name, it's Hair Romance. She is an Australian blogger. I highly, highly recommend her. 
Um, and she just, she's absolutely phenomenal and incredible. And if you can, like, buy her PDFs and support her. She's incredible. And she just gives up all these amazing products. And she really is just, she, uh, it's pretty incredible. But I was there before, like, sponsor content and all that was around. And one of the things that she recommended was... The Tangle Teaser, and and that was because I didn't know that I had wavy hair or curly hair or whatever. Um, but and and so I was learning about that way back then. But this has ended up being like the most amazing product for people when you're in pain. And I have actually recommended this to my nurse, and she has started using this on children who are abused um, when their parents don't brush out their hair and uh, don't take care of it and so um, and they they get care of them they use this on kids but this is also huge for the handicapped and disabled so the tangle teaser um i know they have like dupes and stuff at at like walmart and at, at, at um uh, sally's beauty supply and things like that but i wouldn't i i don't know if you can afford it like i bought this a long time ago when i can afford it there i think it was like 20 bucks and i think the original is the best I don't know if they still make them this well, you know, because manufacturers love to save money these days, whatever. So anyway, the Tangle Teaser is just, if you guys don't already have one, like it has these bristles that are on the outside. It has this great curve, whatever. And basically what it does is, and it's not the same as a paddle brush. I don't, everyone's like, oh, it looks like a paddle brush. It doesn't. It doesn't work. Like, I've had every kind of brush under the planet. And what the Tangle Teaser, and it doesn't, this is different. I don't know how the guy did it. It's a guy in the UK. And basically it is, it, it brushes through your hair without pain. And like, as you can see, you get tangles. And for someone who suffers with pain, like if you can go without it, like it, it, especially with your scalp, like, and people with migraines, anything like that, this is where it's at. So, and you just start brushing at the bottom. And as you can see, like, do you hear any tangles? Do you see, do you see what I mean? Like you can hear that. Like, it's just like all... Like it's nice and easy and there's not a single pull. I mean, even the sound is soothing. It's just like this beautiful, as it just does all the work for me. then that's it and of course if you're disabled like my husband's out picking up some meds when he comes back um he'll help me dry my hair um because it's it's if you can you know get your hair dry if you if you catch cold easily it sucks to be disabled and get sick easily a tip for that by the way and i know everyone's like oh don't use hand sanitizers today it's good to be sick it's good to be sick but no like especially when we were living in california like no, no, it's not going to be sick when you're disabled. So anytime you go to a store, we learn to keep hand sanitizer. We don't use it in the house or anything like that. We keep hand sanitizer in our glove compartments only. And so when we go in a store, any store, anywhere, if we leave the house, anytime we leave a store, if, if it's, and my husband does it because I don't get to the store often, but if we go any store, doesn't matter what store, if we go into a public place, once we get in the car, we take out the hand sanitizer and we do our hands before we even leave the parking lot. And I remember the moment we started doing that, like we never got sick again, like never got sick again. We don't do it in the house. We don't do it like that. When we have people over the house, we don't do it. Nothing like that. And I mean, we, I mean, we go on hikes, like, like when we, when we're able to take my walker out and like go down the. Uh, anyway, I'm getting into stuff like I'm saying like I we can like go on drives and stuff like that and be exposed to the elements. We're not going to do hand sanitizers for that. But if we go into a public place, you know, anything like that, we're definitely going to do hand sanitizers because when we were in California, every time we went to a Walmart, we'd get sick. Like anytime we go to a public place, we would get and we the sicknesses 
because people go to work sick there because everyone can't afford to live there. And so everyone has to work while they're sick. And we just learned it was insane. And it's just a habit that we got into. And so just a tip if you're getting sick a lot, I would highly recommend that. But I, so I am sensitive to like hair being wet, like, you know, try to dry it as much as you can. Of course, if you have curly hair, you're not supposed to dry it all the way through. You're supposed to wait till it's damp and then stop drying your hair. I learned that from hair romance and it did make a big difference in my hair because it used to be get dried out and everything like that. So anyway, so that is the get ready with me. So I, if there's another one like it on YouTube, I would love to see it because I need it. It would be nice to have another mirror, but that is the first ever for me anyway. So yeah, so there you go. And um, they have other products that you can use, like obviously not just for the hair, like to clean the body. Um, and they are just amazing. They're also like no rinse. Like I don't have to do anything else. Like that's it. And it feels like it's been, it's been washed. It's fantastic. I love it. I'm so glad I found it. So peace out guys. Love you.